Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now, what we're going to be doing in this kind of series, this is my 2007 ST Mondeo up here. It's the 2.2 diesel. What I'm going to show is how to kind of do things to your car cheaply, but still do it properly. We're going to be doing a full exhaust system on this. We're going to be doing a massive brake hack and we're going to essentially be doing it for as, as low amount of money as possible but still keeping it properly, not just putting really cheap NAF eBay parts on it, which are not going to do anything. You know, we're going to put proper parts on it, but with a bit of, bit of common sense, a bit of research, a bit of time, you can do all this yourself. This is going to maybe be common sense to some people, but not everyone might not know about it. So there's no point putting stupid comments in because this is just kind of for everybody out there. The first thing I want to say is when you see all these exhaust systems and this k and air filter, this induction, this, this, and they promise you 20 horsepower more, 30 horsepower more, blah, 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 blah. It is all bollocks to a degree. You can't just stick an exhaust on your car and get 20 horsepower. Doesn't work that way. You can't just stick a k and air filter on and get 20 more horsepower. You can't stick these stupid little chips on and get 20 more horsepower. It just doesn't work that way. What we're gonna do is, yes, we've got a full uh, stainless steel exhaust system to go on this, which will allow the engine to breathe more, will uh, give me more performance, but there is a but. What we are going to do, after I've done all the modifications to this engine that I want to do, we've got a big huge intercooler at the front, not just the, the little kind of one that comes with it. Our intercooler is about four or five times bigger than the standard one with an exhaust system. Then we are going to get the car mapped afterwards with all our bits on. And when we get it mapped, because I'm actually be doing that myself, but when I actually map it, I'm going to be telling the car that I've got this exhaust system and I've got this on. I've put whatever you've put on, so whether you put bigger turbos, whatever you've done, you need to tell the car that and then you will get performance difference. Not just by sticking, you know, an exhaust system on, are you going to get all this horsepower from, from nowhere? You know, yeah, stick a bigger turbo and you're going to get more horsepower, but you still need to tell the car to put more air in, to inject more fuel and all that. You still have to set it up properly. And that's what the mapping is all about. So all them things you see out there, unless you get the car mapped afterwards, you're not going to really get any performance difference. You'll get the noise difference on an exhaust, that's instant. So if you put an exhaust system on, your car will sound louder. Some cars sound horrible, some cars sound nice, just depends what car you put them on. So bear that in mind. But like I said, what this, what this series is all about is just showing people what you can actually do, like I said, with a bit of common sense, a bit of research, and you can save yourself a fortune. For example, I'll show you down there in a minute. I have a full stainless steel exhaust system with a decap hype that is, was around about a thousand pounds. I got it second hand for like 180 pounds. Do you know, not spending the money, did a bit of research, took a long time, but finally found one. Now, the one I've got down here is for just the normal saloon. This is a, um, <clears throat> an estate, but I want twin exhaust systems, so I'm gonna have to slightly modify the back, but we're gonna be able to fit it and it's gonna be okay. We're just gonna have to modify it, but again, bit of time I'm still saving an absolute fortune second hand part you know just as good providing it is good part obviously now we are going to decap this and when we when we remap it we are going to tell it we have decatted it but bear in mind depending where you live you might not be able to do this you know for emissions reasons for you know loud re reasons so if, you, if your exhaust is too loud you can get into trouble you know for your insurance reasons for all that so that's on you. You have to figure that out depending on where you live and then you can do whatever you want to do after that. I'm only showing you what I'm doing, but it's up to you what you want to do on your car. So the first video is going to be the exhaust system. Then we're going to do um, big brakes on it. And if you've got any ideas that you would like to see and I can do it, put them in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do. Now, the other reason why I'm doing an exhaust on this is because half of my exhaust is missing. I brought this car with a few little problems and we're just going to kind of go through them, I thought, and make some good videos. So I've got half my exhaust missing anyway. So for me to actually replace this exhaust system with just the standard exhaust system is more or less the same cost as I've got this full exhaust system down here for. So it makes sense. Yes, 
it's going to take me a few hours to fit but you know your time if you're doing it on your own is more or less free anyway so you know why not do that and save yourself an absolute fortune so we are going to fit this exhaust i'm going to show as much as i can but when i'm taking off the actual decal up here it's going to be quite difficult for me to show you because you know it's just kind of up there one thing i will say about exhaust systems do not buy the cheap chinese crappy exhaust systems even though they're stainless steel they're not made out of as good stainless steel they're crap they're just crap save money yes but buy a second hand decent exhaust system rather than trying to buy a brand new shitty exhaust system it's 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 a million times better this exhaust system down here is a bit mucky but at the end of the day it's going to be underneath no one's going to see it apart from the tailpipe who cares it's a bit mucky even if you buy a brand new one it's going to get mucky anyway so i'm not even going to bother cleaning this i'm going to show you what i've got down there then we're gonna get fitting it sorted now so there's the back box and that's actually the same size as the original back box but this exhaust is just bigger so it flows a lot better there's my decat there's my flexi pipe and there's the other bits that we need to join it all together now like i did say my decal up there or my cat as you can see i'm not going to really be able to show that because there's just no room this is the flexi pipe i've put wd-40 and all these that's where all that stuff's from so you can kind of just let it soak in Let's turn off the lights i oh, know we need the light come all the way down here to the back and that's where my exhaust is missing now with this being an estate yes the exhaust tip doesn't come completely out the exhaust tip actually sits about around here but i'm not worried about that because i am going to get it modified with a twin exhaust so a tip coming out here and coming underneath and another tip coming out this side but i can do that you know kind of down the line we just want to get this fitted now so what i'm going to do is just get the camera set up start on doing some of these bolts and we'll crack on now i can crack on keep getting interrupted now the reason why i'm going for a stainless steel exhaust is just because it was cheap and it was second hand you know use your brain simple it's going to last forever never going to have to change it again granted i am taking out the cat part of it which you know for emissions reasons and again i said depending where you were you might have to put that back on but i can just unbolt this bolt the cap back on and then this exhaust is going to be exactly the same it's going to be a little bit louder than the only one but i'm not honestly these at the end of the day i'm not worried about noise it just means it's a stainless steel exhaust i never have to replace it the back box and everything is more or less the same size as the standard one it's just stainless steel so once the cat's back in you cannot for this car anyway you can't get into trouble for extra noise or anything like that because it's going to be more or less the same it does allow the engine to flow a bit better especially when you take this out but like i said for emissions and stuff you have to kind of do that this is going to be the hardest part i'm not going to be able to show you this there's just four bolts that bolt it from the manifold and then the two bolts for the actual exhaust i'm able to show you that but i'm not going to, be able to show you the four bolts on top but as you can see it's very simple i'm gonna to have to get that from the top i think or from the engine bay down because i can't get it from underneath here but i might be able to we'll see you know and these are the simple things that can just transform a car i'm not going to really touch upon wheels because wheels is just a minefield everyone has their own different likes and styles of wheels and stuff but one thing i will say is don't just bang big wheels on your car and think it looks cool because you're gonna change the offset of your wheels completely and you will start you know putting big camber on if you put big huge wheels on say from a 14 inch to an 18 inch wheel they're gonna be wearing on the inside so you know make sure you get the right offset and stuff but that i'm not going to go into that because there's just too many different wheels and styles and stuff so with this we're going to whip off the exhaust we're going to fit this stainless steel one i am going to have to modify it when i get to the back that's going to be a separate video we're about three or four inches maybe a bit more that this exhaust is too short but what i'm going to do eventually is i'm going to chop off this tip and i'm going to um, extend this part here and then i'm going to get two different tips because i'm going to, i want a twin pipe and we'll just attach it to this here this kind of looks rusty and stuff but believe me it isn't it's just muck and crap that's got off the road from the old car putting a stainless steel exhaust on to putting a normal exhaust on is more or less the same there's nothing really to it i'm just going to start on doing bolts but there is a good tip don't tighten anything 
especially if you're putting a full exhaust system on don't tighten anything until you've got everything in place give it a good rattle and make sure it's not hitting anything because you can slightly adjust an exhaust just to make sure it's not going to tip anything so first thing i'm going to do is remove these two bolts here now will they come off will they snap well if they snap it's not the end of the world because to put this back on you just you know just replace the bolts but i'm never going to be using this part of the exhaust again i'm only going to be using the um the cap part which has got its own nuts and bolts on anyway so that's fine with me like i said i'm not actually bothered about if these bolts break sometimes when you're changing the exhaust you kind of wish they do break it just makes your life a lot easier now if the bolts don't break as you're taking them off just keep them because if you ever want to change it back or if you ever sell your car but you want to keep the exhaust because you're buying the same car you can always replace it with your old exhaust and especially with the catalytic part or the dpf part whatever you happen to have you do not want to throw that away because for you to buy that again even second hand is very very expensive and like i said you're going to be having to maybe put it back on for your test and stuff like that so again keep that in mind but these bolts haven't snapped so i'm just going to keep them and put them up the other thing is if you've got an old exhaust system but it's still in fairly good nick because the bit of the exhaust we do have is in really good condition you can always sell it you know you're not going to really get a lot for it but you know someone might need it and you can get a few quid back like i said for me to replace the two parts i need for this exhaust was only an extra 20 or 30 euros more for me to buy this stainless steel exhaust so for me it makes you know definitely sense to do it the way i'm doing these can be a bit of a nightmare to get out so put a bit of lube on them There's loads of ways of taking exhaust rubbers off but you can get kind of a flat blade screwdriver or you can get a hook there's loads of ways open it up spray a bit of lube in there just let it get in same for this one loads of stuff you can use and it just makes life a lot easier for getting it off oh and getting it back on again that came off a bit faster than i was <laughs> expected nah. and this one it's gonna be there we go now nah. that's a bit of our middle section because there is a bit missing now our new our new part comes in two parts so our new stainless steel part is actually joined up here somewhere now i know you're not gonna be able to see properly but you're gonna get the idea so i'm just undoing the flexi pipe now oh yeah Marker. that was tight so this is the flexi pipe the reason they call it a flexi pipe is because it flexes and this is connected to our cat up here but if you was just putting an exhaust system on without a decap pipe then this is as far as you have to go and you just connect the new one up but because i'm putting the decap pipe on now i don't know if someone has already been in here and maybe hollowed out the cat which is not the right thing to do but if they have then that saves me a lot of work so in some ways I'm kind of hoping they have but in some ways I'm hoping they haven't the whole stud and bolt came out the other one so I'll just screw that back in and there's our flexi piece now this is where a good quality aftermarket exhaust comes in can't get really get in there but they're the same so don't you don't need to look at the flanges too much because the flanges aren't exactly the same but it lines up with the decap pipe because this is a full exhaust system but it will go on to here this new one and like i said if i wasn't um if i wasn't putting the the decap on i could more or less just bolt this straight to it but you can see i don't know if it's going to show on camera but you can see it is slightly wider than this one so it's going to allow the engine to breathe more and once the actual cat is back in place the noise is more or less going to be the same as what it was standard so you cannot get into trouble for noise pollution with this particular exhaust system on this car hopefully you can see that kind of honeycomb effect and i just want to look at it to make sure 
it doesn't look blocked it looks good even though you can't really tell to be honest from the bottom you really need to look from the top which we will do we've two what looks like 10 mil bolts at the bottom and then we've four bolts at the top which i'm going to have to get from i have to lower this down take off the uh manifold cover and take it down from there but this part you definitely want to keep no matter what because you have to put this back for your test or whatever you know you can do and there it is in there but this next part i'm not gonna be able to film and this is the part we're replacing with there's the two little 10 mil bolts at the bottom this is where the flexi pipe goes on and these are the four bolts i'm gonna have to take off on the actual top which bolts onto the manifold but this is where a really good quality exhaust comes in because you get them cheap shitty chinese ones you might see one and it'd be a few hundred quid and you can see a second hand one for a few hundred quid and you think do you know what i'll buy the new one because it's new and it's the same price no it's not this exhaust system i think costs around a thousand pounds new uh, which is just crazy but it's proper really thick heavy gauge stainless steel been properly welded it's just proper it's not going to crack the cheap stainless steel the welds crack and it's just a nightmare this isn't going to crack it's just it's going to last as the life of the car it's just not designed for this car but i will make it work so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lower this down and we're going to get to the four bolts on the top then i'm going to have to bolt this in place and once i've got that in place which is actually like that so that kind of goes that kind of angle once i get that in place it's actually like that I will turn the camera back on and we'll get the rest of the exhaust on. Sorted. And I'm going to get, what's it sound like without the exhaust on? I personally don't think diesels sound very good without the exhaust on, but we will do it. We'll rev it up. And like I said, we'll see. There we go. And with the diesel engine, even a with a turbo engine you should really let the turbo cool down you shouldn't really do that right there appears to only be and i say that and i'm going to be wrong three bolts on this silver plate here let me just see if i can get you to that a bit easier so this is the turbo heat shield that i'm taking off and there seems to be three bolts i can't really see any more on it but there's maybe some and you can bet your life there is some ah yeah there's one here there's definitely another one here where my fingers are, you can just see them. So let me undo all this and then I'll see what we can see and hopefully we can see the four bolts we need to see. So once I've undone that, I'll turn the camera back on. So there was two 10 mils and two 8 mils, an 8 mil here and an 8 mil there, which you couldn't quite see on camera. But what I'm really happy about is, look how easy this is. The four bolts, the 14 mil bolts again, but they're right on the top nice and easy to get to again i'm not gonna be able to film actually removing them but you can see they're so easy to get to so this means if you was using this particular car when you need to put that back on for your test it's going to be very very simple and straightforward not really difficult at all which is good because i was kind of thinking this might be quite awkward so whip off them four get to the bottom again right i've been very lucky here all these bolts have come off now some of them have come off with the stud and then some have just come off with the bolt it's actually a 15 mil depending on where you live these could be you could be on these for hours upon hours upon hours and the problem is they actually are threaded into the old um cat now worst comes to the worst you can actually drill through the threads and just put normal nuts and bolts on it not the end of the world but again it still takes time to take them off and it's a catch-22 do you heat up the engine to try and crack them do you heat the bolts up i didn't need to this engine is cold but i have had some success before where i've had the engine to operating temperature squirted loads of lube on it turn the engine off every couple of minutes just squirt lube on it and with the heat and that can sometimes help and then sometimes it's just they can be an absolute nightmare and they're going to snap it, it's just you know these bolts get seriously hot and cold and hot and cold hot and cold that doesn't help depending where you live in the world nothing really helps with exhaust bolts we're going to lift it up now we've got two 10 mil bolts to take off and then this cat's out so yeah 
Lovely. Now, one thing I have just realized is these aren't captive nuts on here. So this is going to be kind of awkward to fit. The only good side is we haven't got a big, huge bulge on it where the cap would be. So hopefully I can get my hands in from the top and tighten that down. Time will tell. All right, so there should be two, looks like 10 mil, brackets holding it from the bottom. It's kind of a steady. So let's undo them. Let's hope they come off because they, this is important. These have to come off because, let's get you in here so you can see. These have to come off because this is where even the new exhaust is going to fit to. If you can just hopefully see that. The drive shaft's in the way where my finger is here. Can't quite see, but believe me, they're here and here, two 10 mils. So let's see what happens. I have put you away because you're not going to be able to see because I'm going to get in the way. And hopefully these are going to play ball. Oh, that one's come out. Oh, I tell you, what's going to happen? Because normally something happens when you're doing something like this. Never go straight forward. So what the hell is going to happen? Is this going to fit through here or are we going to have problems? You would have thought it will. Oh no, see, I knew something's going to happen. It looks like I'm going to have to remove the drive shaft. Uh, for the new one, or for the, for the DCAT, I know I'm not going to have to because it's a lot smaller. But it looks like I'm going to have to remove the drive shaft. Oh no, seriously. I don't want to do that. I knew something was going to happen. Did tell you, didn't I? Oh, 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 no, 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 yes! <laughs> oh, baby. Come on, please. Come on. We are so close. You lovely. It's out. Now, yeah, what's it look like from the top? Perfect. Not blocked at all. That's really good news. Um, you can see if I can get it, if I can get the light and the camera at the same time. Or maybe can we get the light in from this way? Or did it show up? No, I don't think it would. Um, you, you can't see. But anyway, that is in really good nick, which is good because you can tell a lot from an engine how the engine is running to how the cat is. Under no circumstances, throw this out. Even second hand, this is worth a lot of money. I'm not going to be throwing it. I'm going to be keeping it in case I need to put it back for whatever reason. It's bloody heavy too. Now I'm looking at this and there was no gasket on this, but I'm thinking I should put the gasket on. And I can tell from the way that this is here. Looking at that, there was no gasket, but I think I'm gonna transfer that gasket from the old one onto this, just because, you know, why not? Now, I know what you're also thinking, there's some heat shielding on that cat, and there's none here and here. This doesn't need it. This is a lot smaller than the cat, so it's not gonna be as close to the vital part. But not only that, this is not gonna get nowhere near as hot, because the, f the, the fumes are just gonna be able to go straight out. Them cats get hot, this isn't going to get nowhere near as hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang on the gasket and this has to go a certain way because of the way it fits. So this has to go that way. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right with that. Put that up. So much easier to get on. Not only that, I need me bolts for 10 mils. And then I can do this and then uh, put the nuts in from the top. Just as I thought, it's going to be a lot, eat, a lot harder to actually tighten this one down because they're not captive threads. The far one, the one on this corner closest to the engine, not the bulkhead, that's going to be the hardest one. The other three are really easy. 
I can't get to hold the nut and put the bolt down at the same time. So what I've done is just got some ordinary black tape. And as you can see, I've got my bolt in there. So that means I can actually slide the bolt in without it falling through the spanner. It's not gonna fall out if I go the other way. I can come from the top, screw the bolt in, let the bolt break through the tape. But once it's broken through the tape, it's hold on and I can tighten it and get on with life. Sorted. Tip of the day. Right, we're on. We can see some light on. There we go, four bolts as you can see. A lot smaller down there. Now, before you get carried away and put in the heat shield on, I wanna put the whole exhaust system on and make sure there's no leaks up here first. And then now we go to the bottom and start connecting the rest. Right, so this is now where I fit everything else. But like I said, we're not going to tighten anything. There's a little compression gasket on this. I can't show you properly, but it's on another section. I can be able to show you that a lot easier. So this decap pipe now is completely tightened in place, which is what you want. It's the rest of the exhaust we don't need to tighten yet. So, quite boring, but we just need to bolt everything down. Again, I'm not going to be bolting any of these on properly yet, just hand tight. Everything's going to be hand tight. But I must admit, this one can't really move too much, to be fair. You mostly would get away with kind of tightening this one down properly, but I'm not going to, just in case. I can't get this up. Oh, come on. Right, again, just hand tight. But as you can see, there's a little bit of movement that could, could help us in the long run. So I'm not going to, my car's there tight. I keep getting interrupted, but this is what I was talking about. There's a little compression ring in there, which is a sealer, which is what's gonna seal against there. So you don't really need anything. All right, hopefully I can actually get this done today. I keep getting interrupted. Just undo this. It's handy that all the bolts are here. Spring washers with them and everything. All the gaskets are with it. Because sometimes when you buy a new exhaust, you don't get the gaskets with it. It's just little things people forget to order. And then even with the second hand one, people just tend to rip them off. But this one was kind of Looks like it was taken off with a bit of care. So we'll shove it on the rubber first. And that's gonna be the best way. And then put the bolts through, line it up. That should seal very nicely. And as you can see, this section on the standard exhaust was actually two sections. So this is split up, which makes it a little bit easier to fit. Now that bolt, is fooked. So I'm going to have to replace that bolt. You can see the threads are gone. So we replace that. But again, it's not a big deal. Next section is this part. It's like a dog leg. You can just see, see that. I think this is the next section anyway, it must be. So yeah, again, we'll go into the rubber first, just once it's into the rubber, it's like an extra hand for me. Now this work can be quite awkward sometimes. Getting these in, depend on how they were taken off. This is the downside to a second hand exhaust system, but you can't argue with the price. There we go. It's kind of in, but again, not tight, but it's kind of in. They're looking good, people. You can see that lovely stainless steel. What I'm going to do is I'll move the camera down the back. But what I want to do is, before I forget, is I want to get a bolt for here. 
and then we'll continue. Lovely. Now, this procedure can go with any exhaust system, whether it's a performance exhaust system or a standard exhaust system. So there's no real difference. But as you can see, look at the movement we've got. This is a bit too low, so when we tighten up, we need to make sure it's kind of in this upright position. And it just, not that it make that much of a difference, but you know, you could catch it on something, so you want it as best as you can. This next section is quite fiddly. It's another dog leg, but it goes up and over the suspension. And these ends are a little bit damaged. So I'm just gonna kind of knock these ends into shape just to make it easier for me when I come to tighten it. Once I get this in, I'll show you exactly how it goes, because this can go a number of ways. And this is kind of crucial, this one. So. It's going to be a bit fiddly. Need to go in a few more inches. And the reason it's fiddly, as you can see, it goes over the rear anti roll bar and then it goes over the top of the back subframe. So it comes actually up here. And if you get it wrong, it's going to be hitting off this subframe and making a horrible noise. Not going to do any damage to it, but it's just going to be horrible for you to be in it. There's going to be maybe a lot of swearing coming up well i have been fighting with this exhaust i've had to essentially disconnect everything again and put this pipe on and try and kind of go backwards which isn't the best case or the best way of doing it so let's see if we can fit this onto here now Um, that's come out of that. Fuck. Oh, come on. Fit it into this part, and then hopefully we can put it in here. But that doesn't look like that wants to do that either. And yet that fitted so nice before. But now, it won't even go in. And we're off. We're a mile off. Oh, come on. Oh. What a git. Now, to twist that to line up but this is now all completely and utterly off it's not lined up at all properly um, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to twist all these sections and I just can't do it on camera because you're not gonna be able to see but I'm going to have to twist these connections until they're right. It's just this piece is being an absolute nightmare. Once I get it, we'll turn the camera back on and hopefully, hopefully I'll be sorted. Just to show you, even expensive aftermarket parts just don't fit. I know this is second hand, but I don't think I've ever, ever had an aftermarket part that you could just literally bolt on. There's always something you have to tweak. But we're on the back box now. The back box isn't right. It doesn't completely stick out the end, but then, like I said, it is designed for a saloon, not the estate, so I don't mind. But I am going to be chopping the end off, and I'm gonna have a single tailpipe this side and a single tailpipe that side, so we're gonna have to bring another section of the exhaust in. I'll have to get that done um, somewhere else because I don't have a bending machine or anything like that. But at least we're gonna have this in and with a little bit of modification, we're gonna be sorted. If you had a saloon, obviously you wouldn't have to do that. Let's see exactly what we have to do and where this is gonna go. We try and get this in the... Ah, 
just want to get it in the mount just so I don't have to hold this end. Right, now we can concentrate. Now this is going to make this exhaust fit properly because at the minute it's hanging too far down, it's going to hit this cross member, but we know that because we haven't got this part connected. So this is kind of the final piece to the jigsaw and hopefully it's going to fit and hopefully yeah this is just not going to fit the end of that exhaust is all battered from someone taking it off but I tell you something when you actually look at it when it's properly in we're not actually that far out it's going to be in and around there and as you can see yes it's still not right but it's it's not as far off as you would actually think the estate is just square at the top rather than actually physically longer. It is longer, but it's not longer by as much as you would actually think. So that's essentially how it's going to be. <laughs> the mountain's now stopping me. Bit of lube. And what I should have really also have done is just clean these connections where they actually connect slightly. That would have made it easier for me. But hey ho. Oh, we're getting up. There we go. Now, again, there's no point you seeing me struggling because it's going to be very boring. Once I get this kind of connected in, we've still got to use a couple of clamps, tighten up all the bolts, but we are getting there, people. You can only have this performance stainless steel exhaust on. So when I get this connection in properly, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. 40. Right, all things considered, I'm actually really surprised how well this fitted, considering it's not designed for this car. Like I said, this is going to be chopped off, because if I don't, it's going to melt the bumper. It's going to be chopped off and extended with a pipe. Then what I'm going to do is run a pipe, say from here somewhere, across into here, and then just have another pipe coming out here, so it's twin twin pipes coming out the back or one on each side I just prefer the look but again that's for down the road um, I think I'm gonna have to put a little bracket the, nothing's nothing's tightened up yet I think I'm gonna have to make some sort of bracket I might make out of a timing belt just to lift that up slightly the only thing I do want a little bit better is this here now it's not actually touching and rubbing but as you can see, I just prefer it just be pushed over slightly. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Um, I know it kind of looks rusty, but believe me, it isn't. And then we come down here to the decat there. So to be fair, I'm actually really pleased how well this actually fits. A little bit of modification, still going to do a few tweaks but there's no point showing them on camera because you just you just can't really show them properly so you have to keep tweaking it tighten all the brackets up i'll go for a similar tip that's actually there but yeah it's going to look nice with kind of two exhaust sticking out there i reckon rather than just one on one side right i think i've kind of got everything i've got one slight issue which I'm going to address. I'm going to have to, on this section, either get an extension piece, which I have seen online, you can get kind of extension pieces, or I'm going to get this cut and welded. I need it slightly longer, because as you can see, it's hitting just slightly. It's too close to the, to the heat shield there. I've just put a timing belt on it at the minute, just as a temporary measure, because I want to start this and just kind of take it down the road. So that's all I'm going to do is get that extended. Doesn't need much, um, and that's the problem. It doesn't need much. And to put an extension in there with two clips, just I might not have enough room. So I might just get a maybe one and a half inch spacer in there, get it welded, and it'll be sorted for this car. Then the other issue I have, I've just cable tied at the minute, but I need to make a bracket up there just to hold the exhaust. And then we really are good to go. Our tailpipe is nice and straight. The 
The back box is at a slight angle, but that's the way they're supposed to be. If you look at the actual tailpipe, the tailpipe's straight. So I'm going to get that again cut and extended and get my second tailpipe in. I can get all that done at the same time, but we've got plenty of clearance. Oh, we've got plenty of clearance up there. We cleared everywhere just apart from there and I just don't like it so I'm gonna get it done I just want maybe an extra inch there that's all an inch will do it that's what she said so there we go now what we can do is actually start this up and see what it sounds like now I'm not looking for this to be loud because at the end of the day it's the diesel you know a little bit of noise is okay but what I'm more interested in is the actual performance size that I'm gonna get out of this exhaust you know, at the end of the day, it's a diesel. I don't want a screaming, mad, loud diesel because they don't particularly sound nice. But I now know I've got an exhaust that's going to last, you know, the, the, the life of the car. I'm going to get a bit more performance out of it once I map it. And yeah, so that's it. So let's start this up and see what it sounds like. And there we go. On camera, you won't really be able to tell might sound like a normal diesel it's a little bit louder you can tell something's there which i'm really happy about it's not screaming at me i'm really happy with the way that's turned out what i'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure there's no leaks and i can't see any leaks there which is great so I'm going to put that cover back on, go up, send it up and make sure there's no leak. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this after the video. So after I've said basically goodbye, I want to see how many people continue to watch and how many comments I get. Oh, you didn't do that right. Because obviously I haven't finished yet. But anyway, I have now got my lengths and everything sorted and i'll show you how i did that so we'll just continue from essentially the decap pipe which is just up here comes to the flexi pipe then the big long pipe and as you can remember we was having clearance issues here this was rubbing against it i put some um timing belt over this but as you can see now i can fit my hand in there we've got massive amounts of room the problem was the exhaust was too short so I just cut it here and I got this extender. Now this isn't stainless steel, this is just mild steel but it's going to do me for the time being. This is a 90mm extender if I remember. So all I did is cut it in half, put that on, that gave me an extra couple of inches, that's what she said, and that allowed me to get the clearance there which is now, if I come back here and wobble it, is absolutely perfect. And was also having a bit of clearance issue up here too and again we was too short up here so i got another extender this is 125 mil and i cut off where it joined because it just the the, the joining piece was bigger than this piece i'll just show you that now so as you can see this is the joiner piece and this is flared out to fit over the pipe so i cut that off and as i cut that off i obviously needed a bigger extender but i also needed a bit more room so that's 125 mil that comes along as you can see clears absolutely beautiful comes along to our back box now we still got the same problem here but that's not an issue but at least now we have an exhaust that doesn't hit anywhere and is absolutely perfect we just need to extend this now i'm in two minds there's a couple of options i can do i can cut this here and get this extended and use this tip but then for, to try and match that tip up for the far side is going to be very difficult or well, I might not even put a second tip on yet I'm not sure I've got a few ideas so what we're going to do we're going to see what I come up with right I think we're there now I am going to change a few things which I'm not going to film I'm going to show you I'm going to change all these clamps to uh, stainless steel clamps which I've got down there which I will show you I'm also going to change this to a stainless steel clamp I just wanted to see if I could get it all to fit properly and that's why I use these cheaper versions but they are absolutely fine There's nothing wrong with them I just prefer the stainless steel ones now what I'm trying to get through with this video is you know you can do things without having to get 
you know, get it welded. To get this welded, it is going to be quite expensive. This works just as well, believe me. You're not going to have an issue with this connection or getting it welded. You really aren't. So as we go up here, we've got everything. We've got another connection there. Again, that connection was already there. So I've really only actually put one extra connection into this exhaust. But... I know I'm still going to get a few people saying I've done it wrong, but it really isn't. It's just to show you a way of doing it without having to go to other people and to save yourself money. Now, we have got the end of the exhaust on, as you can see. Now, I managed to have, well, I managed, this is a stainless steel part. These are the special clips I'm going to use, these big, huge stainless steel clips. I still need to get the proper connection for this. I just put this on here for the time being, just so you could actually see so again it's done but i just want to change that connection and the exhaust tip is really nice i will show you i don't have to cut the the bonnet or the i don't have to cut the bumper but i might adjust this slightly i've got a lot of adjustment i can push this in i can make this higher i just want to see what it looks like if it's too low once it's down on the ground i will adjust it by spinning it up it's very simple i can just loosen this clamp spin this around so it's not in the place i can do a lot with it but what i'm saying is for no welding to buying a very cheap second-hand stainless steel exhaust which is really good quality i just happened to get it really cheap just with a bit of messing around i've made it actually fit now yes obviously this doesn't look the prettiest granted but once it's on the floor you're never going to see any of this so it makes no difference at all it's a proper solid connection it's not going to fall off um, it just maybe doesn't look very pretty one solid piece welded in there would look better but the advantage is once you've done this if you wanted to take it to someone to get it welded well they have all the measurements they don't have to do anything all they've got to do is weld it which can save you money but there really really isn't any need so that really is essentially it and like i said that's what this is going to be about just to kind of get your car get it tuned you know still using good quality parts but doing it kind of on the cheap because to put a brand new stainless steel exhaust on this would have cost me five or six times more and i haven't got anything else i haven't got any extra for it i've got a full exhaust system for the same yes this one's a bit dirty but who's gonna be looking under my car all the time nobody even if you buy a brand new one it will get dirty so there we go let's put this on the deck and see what the exhaust actually looks like on the ground right there we go people it's all done i need to adjust it slightly i might lift it up and cut the exhaust out not that it's it's not hitting the ground and then it's miles off the ground but i just kind of prefer it kind of sitting in the exhaust there's a little bit more adjustment to do so as you can see when you stand back it looks good i did want two but i'm just going to leave that for the minute one's going to have to do me i will maybe rig up something i've got a few ideas to do a second one but anyway there we go so this is just to show you look you can do it you don't need any specialist tools you can just use exhaust pumps and stuff we'll get away with it there's a lot of work that obviously you didn't see it does take a lot of time but that's just your own time and you know if you do want it welded well all the all the measurements are there you can just take it to someone and get it uh, tig welded for you a lot easier than letting them do all the work but there you go full stainless steel exhaust put in you know from this you cannot see any of the connections you cannot see anything it's all good it's just going to get a load of black crap up the up it now because well that's just because of the way it is because your diesel exhaust there's a sticker so what we're going to do is the next video is going to be on the big brake kit which is going to be awesome so that's it people look hope it helps thumbs up subscribe all that don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted Oh yeah, I need to wash my car now.